Hey there, War Gamers. Justin the Iron Painter from Death Ray Designs here, and I'm joined by Nathan. How you guys doing? Uh, he's back again today to uh, play a game of Warhammer 40k with us. He's got his Necrons, which will be uh, facing off against my Dark Angels in a 1500 point game. And uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, get into the armies. All right, so we went ahead and deployed our armies. I deployed first, so we've got uh, my lone scouts over there in the corner, kind of hanging out. We've got the rest of the Dark Angels chilling here on the side of the Quonset hut. Uh, there's an objective right under the repulsor here. We've got one over there, one here, and one right there. And uh, we are doing the search and destroy deployment type, so somewhere in the center of the table, right around here, there's a nine inch bubble where our models have to be away from. And then he's got the opposite corner for me. The mission that we're running today is uh, supplies from above. So we will start scoring at the top of turn two. And we will also start to uh, roll off to see if the supplies drift around. Um, flyers will trump other scoring units. So they're repulsor. And I don't know if you have any flyers. Destroyers. So he's got destroyers that have fly. So they'll trump things as well. Um, but uh, all the other stuff seems to be pretty standard. Slay the Warlord, uh, First Strike, which is not First Blood, it's First Strike, so both players have an opportunity to do that. Yes. And Line Breaker. So uh, it looks like everything's roughly uh, similar to what uh, Tim and I did in our last battle report. So let's go ahead and get this underway. All right, uh, so we're going to go into Dark Angels turn one. A few things before we start. Like normal, we're going to be running our um, house rules for ITC um, building format. So bottom floor will be blind sight blocking, which will be important for Nathan's destroyers trying to live. Uh, we're doing the same thing with Plasma using the uh, was it Kill Team rules where it's a natural roll of a one. And um, we already off camera went ahead and rolled to see if Nathan got um, or was able to seize initiative. He was not. And I believe he told me he's going to spend two command points to uh, go ahead and give his army uh, cover safe. That is correct. I yes. don't know what that stratagem is called. but It's a new stratagem that came out with a chapter fruit. Okay, fair so. enough. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get into some Dark Angels uh, movement stuff. So we're going to start by disembarking some tactical bros here. That number two. Get these guys. Ooh, they only have to be with, within three. They don't yeah. have to be at three. Yeah, not wholly, just within. So just their base can be touching. There we go. So it should be roughly there. Something along those lines should be pretty reasonable. Okay, we probably want some plasma out in front. That'd probably be a good idea. Probably be Cracker Jack idea. All right, it definitely would be. Now let's go ahead and six. Go ahead and move six inches forward. Oops. So somewhere over in this vicinity. All right, let's spot move some of these fellows. Uh, also, we didn't mention, um, Nathan has agreed to allow me to uh, play with the uh, beta bolter rules, which will be useful. I'm pretty sure everyone else is playing with them too, so. Roughly three. They so don't hurt my feelings, man. Librarian. All right, so let's go ahead and take this rhino at six and 12. So somewhere right in that vicinity. And uh, Mr. Repulsor, where do you want to go? You got a 10 inch move, so that's eight. Mm, do we want to get Hellblasters out? Probably do. Getting Hellblasters out is probably a good idea. Uh, three would be right in that vicinity. Um, yeah, I probably do want to shoot with them this turn. Probably makes a lot of sense to throw out as much shoosting as I can. We got a measure tape here. Let's just see, we're 30 inches. Okay, so yeah. Um, I won't be able to get with it. I could move in within 15, but I don't want to. It's fine. Um, I'll shoot at my uh, Lich Guard. That might be a good idea. Um, let's just go ahead and get like in this area here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. All 
Alright, where's the rest of these guys? We got six more to go. Six more little battle bros. Okay. And where do we want to move them? Um, probably should like do a little skirt, 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 skirt. Just to make sure everybody can see something over there. Which I That's think true. won't be a terrible problem. Well, this guy gets over here. Well, as long as one season. squad can see this guy, it doesn't matter if they don't see the other ones, they can still kill them off. Yeah, I want to make sure that um, every model can at least part, see part of the thing. Like, this guy wasn't going to be able to see, see anything this way, but now you can see okay. him there. And I think the whole unit's probably reasonably okay. Gotcha. All right. Um, Repulsor here can move 10, which means he can't clear those guys, but we are going to go ahead and kind of shimmy over here. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Docker shots in. Yep. And Azrael's going to go ahead and dump out. Yep. Barely within three. And he's got a six inch move. So let's go ahead and get him. We'll just, we'll just, yeah, tuck him right there. There you go, Azzy. Um, I don't know if we're going to get out the, oh, I could get out the other tactical squad. Could come around, but then they're going to get shot. Yep. Um, it's not the worst thing that could potentially happen. Um, could go, could go like six, six. Rhino would be there. Um, okay, so let's come around here. A little danger close. That's good. So that's three, six, somewhere in that vicinity. Sounds good. Burp, 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 burp. And. What are you gonna do with that? Um, I'm debating on if I want to advance or shoot. Um, I think he's just gonna stay. That seems. You right. gonna charge him into them? I don't know yet. Um, It'd be super lame turn one. But running them forward seems like a good idea. Uh, where do my scouts want to go? Um, scout bikers have a pretty substantial movement. Oh, scout bikers! Oh crap! What's yeah. their movement? Fourteen. Sixteen. Oh, what? So, yeah, they're sixteen. Jesus. So that's yeah, awesome. That would be six there, 14, and then roughly two there. So I could Congo line and get some pretty good distance there, which might not be the worst idea. So let's go ahead and go, whoop, get six, six to there, and then about right there. Oh, uh, yep. Those guys will kind of pile in somewhere in that vicinity. Seems like oh, two, two yeah. squads? Yeah, two squads oh. of three. Um, where do these guys want to go? They just want to kind of follow up? Seems like it might be a good idea. Doesn't seem unreasonable. So I would have a eight. So somewhere right in this vicinity-ish, yeah, okay. if go I wanted it. to. Um, Good could, shots on warriors, really. I could, or I could drive back over there towards Azrael. Um, but no, nah, let's just let's just go over here. So, eight, sixteen, and it was to the side of his base. So, okay. so something like that's probably reasonable. Seems good. Burp. All right. Now I can advance and then shoot the bolters. Is that right? On those. Advancing bikes? They're not a, uh, no, because they're not assault weapons. Oh, okay. So it's, fire. it's the uh, black knights that get to do that. Yes, I believe okay. so. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm not sure, it's your rules, so I mean, I don't think you can, because I think they're uh, rapid fire weapons. That's fine. Um, I think my tax or my uh, scout squad over there is probably just going to hang tight. Um, How about the objective, probably? Well, I can't score this turn, so it doesn't matter. If you score at the beginning of your oh, turn. Oh, fair enough. So, so if I get that objective, I could move it over here, and then you wouldn't get it. All right, so hang on. Let's back these bros up a little bit then. So we'll at least get that guy towing the objective. So you'll have to kill at least that one if you want it. And, yeah, but see, if I go out in the open, he's going to get blasted. I mean, am I really going to shoot five scouts? When there's First blood, you probably would, because you would want to get a point. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. I, I'll be honest with you right now, yeah, I probably would not shoot at your scouts turn one. There's a lot of other things that are more important than first blood and scouts. I can get first blood and something else. Mm. I'm being truthful, like, mm. it's five scouts. So how many points is that, 50 points? 
It's like 60, but yeah. Um, just got to down here. Just chilling. Mm. I feel like having some overlaps probably not terrible, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll just go over there. It's fine. Do, do, do. And let's go ahead and move the rest of you little fellas up. Actually, you had a six inch move, so you could, if we're gonna be out in the open, might as well just be out in the open. Yeah, I would surround the objective. So if it goes in any direction, you can uh, have bodies positioned. Yeah, that way it'll be almost impossible to move the objective out from under your control. Okay. Um, I might have to do, those scouts seem to be different too. Hang on, because it's at the start of the turn, so I need to have a do within three of this one. So we're gonna have to forego some blasty blasts. Back Fair up. Enough. So it's two inches, that's one. That should be about two. All right, there we go. Back up just a smidge. There you go. There you go. Whoops. Okay, so now that we're on board with how this mission actually works, because I'm used to scoring at the end, not the beginning. Yeah, it's at the beginning of the turn, so it changes everything. So all that, I think, is done. So now it's going to be psychic phase. All right. Yep. So uh, what's what's the leadership on your dudes? Uh, ten. Everyone's ten. Okay. Um, Necron, uh... Our robots, we don't. Who don't want a aversion? That's that's the question. It's minus one to hit? Yep. Oh, okay. I can just buff it back, so I'm not worried. Yeah, but you know, buffing back is better than you going up. That's true. Um, Where's your psych right? Okay, I see. Yeah. How and far aversion. away is how far away is he? Aversion is twenty four. So yeah, okay. yeah, I've got line of sight to or targets for whatever I want. And what's your other power? Um trepanation. What's that do? Um I Activate the power, and then I roll a 2d6, and for every point I exceed your leadership, you take a mortal wound. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, have fun with that. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's never going to happen. Not not against this army specifically, no. Yep. Um, uh, we'll try an aversion of these guys right here. Mm -hmm. So here we go. This needs a warp charge of value of six. Nope. Did not get it. Um, we're going to... No, I'm not. It's not worth it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Smite? Yep. Which we got with an 11. All right, I'll attempt to die. I need 12. Not with the three, so. How much do you do? Uh, do you rolled an 11, so it's D6. Five. Five, five dead guys, okay. All right, so we failed to get a version off, but uh, I'll take a pretty fun or, um, fantastic smite. That's not bad. Yeah. Killing five um, dudes. Yeah, not, not bad at all. Um, so that'll put us into the shooting phase. Let's go ahead and unload on the immortals, right? Okay. Um, so we'll start by shooting with the uh, Rhino here, not Razorback. Eight shots. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, because it's double all the time. Yeah. Because we're using a, the Bolter rule. It's vehicles, eight shots, buddy. I knew that. I'm. I'm they do have a two-up save though, so. Some shots is better than no shots. That's true. All right, so here we go. Okay. Rerolling from Azzy. Why'd you reroll that three? Was there a three? There was a three, yes. Okay, well. Just put that one as counting as hit. It's not a guilt. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was a two. It was probably from the glare. All right, and wounding their toughness four? They are toughness four, yes. Okay, so wounding on fours. fours. All right, so we got four. All right. Four two up saves. Pass them all. All right. Um. These tactical marines did move, so we will have, um, what's that going to be, seven bolters, two, four, six, they, seven bolters. Are they in rapid fire? No. But they moved. You don't get the rap, rapid I've, fire. There's seven guys, seven Oh, bolters. I thought you were counting 14 shots, no. sorry, apologies. Um, so here's the seven bolters. Rerolling from Azzy, which we needed, because that was pretty bad. Mm. That was still pretty bad. Yeah. We now have fours. At least it's not Death Guard. Two wounds. Two wounds. Sorry. Two ups. We're good. All right, we've got uh, the plasma shots from them. Those hit. Needing twos. Do you, you didn't overcharge, did you? I did not. There's no reason so to one. overcharge. So one AP minus three. So five up. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're good with the five. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, immortals. Squad's already hurt. Okay, so it's got range with all of its stuff minus its uh, grenade launcher. So let's go ahead and get its storm bolters in, which it's got quite a few. How many does it have? 
It's got three storm bolters. Oh, okay. So, all right, here we go. So we got 12 shots from storm bolters. All these are going to go into the immortals. It okay. seems like. What are the rest of your shots for? I think we're probably just going to put everything into them. I probably need it. Okay, just for the first uh, first strike. Yes. Yeah, because if I put them in the warriors, they're not going to kill them. You're not. So here we go. Uh, Rerolling from Azzy. Which that was just below average. So I'll take it. Okay. Whoop. The four is doing. Here we go. As I drop dice on the floor. I just grabbed one from here okay. to replace that one. Uh, so we've got... A decent roll. Yeah. So we've got seven. Nice. I failed two. Two more die. Down to three. Man. I'll take it. All right. The twin heavy bolts are into them. Mm -hmm. Reroll from Azzy. There is a one there. It's definitely cocked. It's still a two. All right. These will be wounded on threes because you have five. And it's going to be AP minus one. All right. What's that? They're good. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our onslaught, which will be six for the small one and 12 for the big one. Three, six. All right, here we go. I'm rolling these together because they're the same profile um, after range. Okay. Let's get the misses out. Get on the other side. Wow, Boop. nice. 17 hits. All right, and these are going to be wounded on threes. threes. Just bring five, eight, minus one. Okay, let's get the ones on twos out. Get out of there. All right, so it should be 13 for my strike. Right? Four, eight, 12, 13. Come on, dice, get out of there. Oh, I thought you were going to hand them to me, but that's cool. Oh, sorry, I thought you wanted to use yours for, you know, Nathan Lux. Uh, I mean, I use anybody's dice, I don't care. I don't need well, You've used dice. mine. You roll better with mine than I do with mine, so. Uh -huh. um, it's really hard to do one-handed, sir. Here we go. Uh, three up saves. One, two, three, four. The whole squad's dead. Yeah, all first, right. First strike. So it took all this guy's firepower to take that out, uh, minus his little grenades, which were out of range. Uh, so that leaves us with Hellblasters and Azrael and this stuff over there. So, um... Let's go ahead and um, we're going to shoot with the scouts first because if you take out some of the ones in the front, the scouts may not actually be able to shoot. It's true, fair enough. So we've got four bolters. The sergeant will not be able to be in range because he's only got a bolt pistol. So here we go. Shooting at the warriors, right? Yeah. That was cocked. It was. Okay. looked like a three. It was. Then, a, it looked like a three. Yeah, no. But to be fair, if I'm rerolling the misses, if it looks like it's a hit and it's cocked, I'll reroll. So we did so, get a wound. Three up. We're good. All right. Um... Let's go ahead and do the scout squad behind this because uh, they look like they have reasonable shots to it. If you take out the front, they won't be able to see enough if he shoots. So we're going to go with those. So we got 12. Um, oof. I might want to do that shotgun first because this guy's... Uh, uh, it doesn't uh, matter. If you declare all your shots, it doesn't matter if you shoot the shotgun okay. first. Okay. All right. So um, you are in range when you go to sh when, you're, when you declare your profile, I believe. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to add in two shotguns from the front guy. The second guy is just out. Okay. Um, and they're not within half range, so the stats are going to be identical. Gotcha. So here we go. We're moving the misses. No rerolls this time. Still pretty decent. And then winning on fours. All right. Here we go, Mr. Warriors. Time to shoot or wounds. Okay. That was much That's better. A, all right. So we had four. Three of armors. Fails one. One guy dies. All right. We'll take the closest one. Yep. Whichever one is it. Okay. Um, the other scout squad here. Okay. So uh, we have two guys shooting and one guy shotgun. So bolters in rapid fire and shotgun. Shotgun's not in half range. So here we go. No rerolls. Pretty bad for Space Marines, missing half. Yeah, I know. Wounded on threes. I got threes, fours. Uh, but that was good, so five. There you go. See, you mix up for it. Three ups. Passed them all, though. All right. Um, so now let's go ahead and get the Rhino, which is in rapid fire range. Not that it matters, because bolts are rule. Okay. That's a little better. And on fours. 
Okay, so we got three. Three of armors. One more will die. Okay. Um, Lich Guard, two wounds apiece? Yes. Okay. Um, they have toughness five. Yeah, so Hellblasters will shoot into the Lich Guard. Okay. Uh, how many of them are there? It's just ten. Ten. They have a five up invuln, right? Yes. Um, two up armor. Yeah, so, yep, uh, we're going to use the um, Weapons of Forgotten Age, or whatever it's called, to get the plus one to. Um, yep, and we're going to see if I get my command point back. I do. Okay, so we're still at nine. And uh, let's go ahead and shoot 10 Hellblasters into the Lich Guard. Eight, and there's 10. All right. You're going to mm -hmm. Boop, boop. All right. Nice, nine hits. And wounded on with threes? Yep. Okay. All right, <laughs> that's pretty bad. Uh, so it's still five, AP minus four. Yep, so five up in ones. I've passed none of them, so that's five dead guys. All right, um, to, Sorry. you're fine. Uh, to wrap up with uh, our shooting here, Azrael's gonna go ahead and shoot, and I'm pretty sure he's in range 24. Come on, come on. He is. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and fire, We'll fire one plasma into the warriors just because it's not going to make a difference against the uh, Lich Guard and I'm not going to overcharge it. And we'll fire the Mastercraft into Lich Guard. So hitting on twos now, instead of, or threes now. So this is the plasma reroll hits uh, into the need warriors. Oh, they need a three, sorry, string seven. It whoops. Five up? No. All right, so we got one more warrior off the field. And Mastercrafted Bolter. Is that two damage? It is. Oh. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Cool. I rolled three ones out of the last four rolls. All right. Um, I think that's going to take us into trying to declare some charges. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Um, Scouter bro bros could make it with, it looks like a nine, maybe. Yeah. Nine probably do it. Um, and this guy considerably less. So, um... Let's go ahead and declare charge with this rhino. All right. All right, so uh, Nathan's gonna get some overwatches here with his uh, warriors. He's got 30 shots of rapid fire range into the, the rhino. Let's see what we can do here. So one, two, three, four, five right there out of the first hit. It's not gonna kill your rhino, so don't worry. <laughs> five sixes out of 15 dice are pretty good. Uh, seven dice total, seven hits, two more sixes. That's that's pretty good. What's well, statistical? Oh, 36 would be six, but yeah. I mean, you rolled. You should have got. All right, like and I need five. Four. Uh, for four wounds, AP minus one. Okay, here we go. Uh, he AP minus one. Yeah. So he takes two. Yeah. Maybe. All right. So Put let's get one of our eight handy dandy dials here, and uh, let's go and put this on a two. Do you make your charge? <clears throat> All right, so let's go and get our charge distance here with this rhino. Uh, seven inches, gonna be close. Yep. Oop, I got an eight inch ruler here. Uh, yeah, because if it touches eight on him, that would be within an inch. So we're gonna go to there. All right, so we've got um, rhino number two who's gonna attempt to charge here. And uh, strategy wise, the reason that I charged with this one first is that it had no dudes in it. And he did roll pretty well. He, I mean, probably wouldn't have killed it, but uh, it seemed right to get the one that's uh, empty hurt versus the one that has uh, nine tactical marines in it. So uh, let's go ahead and get this charge distance in. Let's remove some dice first here. Uh, 11 will do it for sure. Put an inch away. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's go this way. Somewhere in that vicinity. The last squad's gonna try. This probably needs a miracle roll, um, but I didn't want him to chew them up on Overwatch. Uh, so let's see, to that guy, it looks like it's about 10 for my dude, so if I got a nine, should do it. All right, here we go. We do not, and there's no reason to command point reroll because I would need a six. So, um, 
I don't have any other charges to make, so I think we're going to be going to fight phase. Charge, then fight phase, right? Yes, sir. All right. Um, I believe my rhinos have three attacks. Mm -hmm. Just want to roll them together? Uh, yeah, because it won't really matter. All right, so here's all the rhino hits. We got two. I'll take that. Slightly above average, because they need sixes. One on threes. Here we go. We got one wound. He fails him. Lose a guy. Oh, they're armor four. Yeah. Four oh, okay. Points. I'm used to. Did they? Were they? Were they ever a three? No, they were always four. Okay. All right. So I think. I get to fight back. Ooh, hang on. Not that it matters. Dirt, dirt, dirt. I don't, yeah, I gotta remember to be doing these things. So now you get three inches, which I think you're probably gonna get all these dudes with an inch of a dude who can swing. One try, so hang on. Yeah, I, I think some. you're fine. So uh, Nathan's gonna be moving this building, I think, a little bit out of the way, just so he can get to his warriors a Move little bit you know, more easily. And now he's gonna get his uh, some movement in here. All right, so you're basing this one, correct? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one, two. And I think with some proper maneuvering, he's probably going to get most of these guys in there because it's within an inch of a guy who can swing or is based or something. Uh, who, wait, it's as long as you are within an inch of a person who is within an inch of an enemy model. Yeah, so close to being based. So within an inch, which he's going to get most of these, I think. If he doesn't, it'll be like a handful. I'm not going to get most of them. I'm not even going to try to get most of them in. Really? Uh, right. Yeah, right no, no, no. There's a reason. We're going to stay. Sorry, I'm not trying to move that guy. Um, so I have one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight guys here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six guys there. If I drop another one of these models, what I say? I forgot what I said already. Oops. Uh, eight and six, I think. Looks like, yeah, six because he is within an inch of this one. So yep. six, so eight and six. So it's eight and six. So here's eight against the injured rhino, hitting on threes for a three misses. Is wounding you on fives. I get to reroll ones because the Lord is within six mm -hmm, inches. Mm -hmm. So I got two fives and two ones. So rerolling for no, just two wounds on the injured. No All AP. Right, here we go. Oh, he fails one. Cool. And then six hits from the other squad. Six attacks from the other squad. Uh, all six hit. Nice. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then needing fives, rerolling ones for uh, three hits on the other one. Here we go. Uh, he fails one. And that's it. All right. All right, uh, so second game ever, I've used rhinos as battering rams, which probably not a bad idea because you're gonna have to deal with them. Um, we've pushed forward here. We've done everything. Um, I would have liked to have gotten a charge on the, the, uh, the scouts, but that's okay. Um, I think we're in a reasonably uh, decent position and uh, we're getting ready to go into um, Necron turn one, since apparently I forget who I'm playing against. So. All right, to start Necron turn one, I have uh, quite a few abilities to do today. Um, first things first, Nemesaur has an ability um, called Transient Madness. I roll a D3, and I pick whatever it is, I choose a unit, so we're going to roll. I got two, which is plus one to the attack characteristic, characteristics. We will give it to the uh, squad of Lich Guard. Surprise, surprise, the so melee unit gets the plus one attack. Three attacks, yeah. That was nice, actually. Um, second thing, I'm going to spend a command point to put me down to five. Because I used two at the beginning of the game. We're going to use his uh, My Will Be Done. We'll use the stratagem of Pharaoh Overlord and cast it on two units. We're going to cast it on the Lich Guard. Wait, so you use a stratagem that lets you use his ability twice? Uh, well, yes. It's the My Will Be Done can be cast on two units. Okay, so Will Be Done on two units. Yes. Okay. okay so we're this gonna isn't the D3 thing. I'm no, no. This is a My Will Be Done. So they will give them plus one to their hit roll. And we'll give the Destroyers plus one to their hit roll. Okay. Um, and charge and advance, obviously. Um, lastly, we have some resurrection protocols. So first I have... Ooh, ooh hang on. Yes. Are you guys immune to leadership? Uh, no, we're leadership 10. I lost right. five guys here, you're right. So on a roll of a six, I'll lose a guy. Yep. Nope, close. Five. It was good. worth it. Fair enough. So five plus five is 10. We're good. And then these guys lost one, two, three, four dudes, it looks like. Yes, four guys, so they can't fail. Yep. So okay. four guys first on four ups. I bring back one, which is fine. Not that I saw. I want. We care about. Um, has to be an inch away over here. Yep, he's fine there. I messed up on consolidating my last turn. I needed to move them more over, and I forgot. It's all right. It's too late now. Okay. So then uh, we'll do my will be done on these five guys here. Needing fours. One, two, three, four dudes come back. So there, 
there. There, there. All right, now we'll go to the movement phase. So we'll just go ahead and uh, stick these fellows up here. Surprise! Destroyers. And that should put me within 24 inches of the Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's all that matters. So we'll put him here, it's fine. So we're within six still? Yeah, okay, cool. And then we'll uh, move him back, and then we'll pull all these guys out of combat. Uh, attempt to, at least. I will attempt to. If I have to put him back, I will. But I should be able to get an inch out of combat. Uh, I hope. Yeah, I will, I'll be able to get into that combat because I can just go over this window here and chain it. Sorry, that's fine. Not my intent to cheat. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not gonna change the charge roll. I mean, the rhino moved like a little bit closer to you, but the unit that's charging, it's not gonna change the, dis the yeah, distance yeah, yeah. they have to go, so it's fine. Let's make sure I'm an inch away from everything, so. Yeah, okay, cool. So they are all out of combat now. I cannot shoot this turn, but that's okay. We're gonna be accepting that. Um, we're gonna move these gentlemen over here. And they're just gonna move their five inches. I would say you could fire through this window, right? Over that's blocking, all, all things blocking. So if he could see over what would be okay, blocking, we'll then they, you're good. Okay, it's fine. Yep. Okay, so then they can be able to shoot. Yep. And these guys are gonna move literally an inch away. If I can not get caught on my own models. One downside of big bases, Nathan, one downside. An inch away, so just, just creep right in there. Okay, so that's the end of my movement phase. I don't have a psychic phase, so we'll go to the shooting phase. Um, we're gonna shoot these 10 guys into your hell blasters. All right, let's do it. 10 shots. Hitting on threes. For one miss, there we go. And then wounding on threes, because it's a strength five. Uh, for uh, seven wounds total, you have in one saves. So they're AP minus one? AP minus two. Okay, so five, six, seven. Okay, are they one damage piece? Yes. All right, here we go. Uh, so we failed five out of seven. So one guy's got a wound on him. So let's get one, two, and uh, old wounded boy in the back. Burp. All right, Nemesaur is... Uh, Gonna shoot his solar staff into the uninjured one. Yeah, that's gonna work. That's gonna work out perfectly. Um, for two hits, and he's wounding on five. Three roll ones. No, no, they don't have an R. Only from wounding. It's only infantry. For one wound, AP minus two, on the uninjured. All right, so he takes a wound. All right, all right, we're gonna shoot three, six into the uh, Hellblasters, which are destroyers. I'm going to spend a command point to do the, uh, the stratagem, talent for destruction. Why not just call it how it is? Extermination protocols for my destroyers. Let's reroll hits and wounds. Yep. Um, and so we're hitting on threes, rerolling, wounding on threes, rerolling. All right, so 12 hits. I'll roll it here, I'm sorry. That's fine. And these are uh, wounding on threes, rerolling. Uh, for 10 wounds. Okay, so we got eight, nine, ten. All right, here we go. Uh, um, super. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, so I'm gonna lose six, because there's uh, a guy already wounded. D3 damage. Uh, okay. Um, so the first one's gonna kill the dude. Yes, you have seven guys. Um, so I failed nine, so that's eight wounds left. Okay. Yeah, because if I roll ones, then you'll be fine. All right, so eight, so one wound. Okay, so just go ahead and take another dice out, because will be a dead guy. Yep. So it puts you down to six left to roll. Three wounds. Mm -hmm. Two wounds. Mm -hmm. Two wounds. Well, three, but one wound, so that's one dice remaining. That's three damage there for that one. Boom. That's all my shooting, so 
So now we'll go to the charge phase. We will charge the Lich Cart into your two uh, rhinos. All right, we got a little bit of Overwatch to do yes, here. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Here we go. Needing sixes. Um, we got one. Okay. We got a four. Uh, their toughness five. All right, so no wounds. All right, so do they make their charge for the seven? So. I don't think I can get everyone in. Yeah, because he's going to be out. Is there any way? No, okay, so these two guys will have to go there. One, two, three, four guys into the injured one. Okay. Ah, I'm not going to be able to kill that one, I don't think. Okay, so that's the end of my move for my charge. I don't have anything else I can charge. Um, so I guess we'll go, uh, we'll do four guys in here and looks like two guys here. All right. So two guys at six attacks. We'll do it into the... Uh, Rhino that's full of people. So hitting on two is no rerolling. Um, I will spend a command point to increase their strength by plus one, putting me down to three command points. So their strength eight now instead of strength seven. All right, so hitting on twos. All those hit, and then uh, wounding on threes. For uh, four wounds, AP minus four. Uh, let's just go to damage. Eight damage then. Uh, all right, so it's gonna die. Okay. It does not explode. Uh, and the guys inside? Yep. So three, six, nine. <sighs> Go ahead, continue. All right, so we lose two. Okay, that's not bad. And it's your two of any choosing, so. Yeah. And then they get to get out within three inches of it. All right, so we've uh, removed our dead rhino and disembarked our uh, tactical bros over there. Roughly within three inches, give or take. And he's got some attacks left to make on this rhino. Uh, yeah, it's actually three, so six, nine attacks. Nine attacks hitting on twos. No real one. All right, just one. And then winning on threes, real one ones. Because of the Chaos Lord. Well, not Chaos Lord, the uh, board. Six to two is out. Five. Five, uh, it's 10 damage. It did not explode. Okay. And there's nobody inside, so it doesn't matter. All right, uh, they will consolidate uh, just a little bit. They technically have to be towards the closest. Sorry, just move that guy around the edge there. And that's it for my turn, so one point. All right, so he picked up uh, first, first strike. strike. All right, so um, at the end of Nathan's turn, I have a leadership test on my lone remaining Hellblaster. And we're just gonna go ahead and bust two command points to keep him alive. Puts me down to seven, and we're gonna see if I get that back. You don't. You already got it back. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it's for the full full yeah, phase. Yeah, the new FAQ, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so at the start of the turn, we roll to see if these objectives move, is that correct? Yes, sir, and we roll off. Um, you pick one, and then I pick one, and so forth, so forth. But for the expediency, we'll just do, I hate yeah, you, so one, two, three, four. So this so one here. Scouts, I got it. You get to move it. Um, so I get to go three inches with it, yeah? Yes. From the uh, center, specifically, so. so roughly. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, close enough, you're good. And no center, center should be somewhere in that vicinity. Good enough. All right, so then the one over here by your bikers. I will do two, all right. All I right, you're just gonna move so, it. Um, yeah, it makes sense to just move it uh, closer to, let's see. Yeah, if we move it this direction. Yeah, might as well keep it. Uh, yeah, it'll be roughly somewhere in there, so it should be within range of Azrael. Run by my warriors. I will a four. Got one. Yay, we're just gonna go ahead and... Yep. And then the one over there by my immortals, I will a four. I also got a one. Cool, so we'll do the same thing, and we'll just... Cool. So we each get two points. Okay, so is it at the start of every turn? No, at the start of the first player's turn. Okay, okay. So every time we go back to your turn, it's the start of the battle round. Okay, Sorry. so we're both up 3-3. Three, three. Yes. All, All right. right, so the Dark Angel's here. Let's figure out what we want to do. Um. Let's see, if the attack marines move up six, we'd have to advance to get on that. So that objective's kinda gonna be out there. Um, I could just remain stationary. Um, that would be a 10, two, so it's not going anywhere. Um, those tactical bros could stand still. Azrael has a six. We could get to there. Roughly advance and do something. Not a whole lot of much. Um, 
Let's just uh, let's just move some tactical bros forward. I feel like that's probably a good idea. So six should be on this side of my finger. So do do do, and we'll kind of just move them in roughly the same profile they were in to begin with. So somewhere in that vicinity, you and Brother Nabil do not get to go. You got to stay over there. Okay. Um, those bolters can be really good against those warriors. Brother Nabil, let's go ahead and move him forward. Let's move the lone Hellblaster forward. Doot. And we'll move Azrael forward somewhere in there. And he's got ten moves, so he should be Yeah, you're fine. Good whatever. No brother Nabil, get over there. <laughs> okay. Um those tactical bros. Um they only lost what, one guy or two? They lost three two. Two, okay. Yeah, so it should be seven there. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I miscounted for some reason. I thought there were going to be ten. I was like, man, you didn't lose three guys. No. Um, oh, yeah, you already got Azrael, right that's why. Yep. All right, so if we move forward, I can get myself extremely close up here. Probably. I like your hairdo, by the way. Thank you. My little swoosh is daft from Garrison called it. You look kind of like Sean Bay. I don't know who that is. The coach of the Los Angeles Rams. Um, well... I don't follow football, but he's probably got a lot more money than I do, so I'll take this call. Well, he's only 33, so. Oh, well, we're about the same age. Um, <laughs> Youngest head coach ever. We need to scatter. Is he? I think he is. All right, so there we go. We need, yeah, that way we got room for. The bikers. Actually, they have to stay an inch away, so I need to be more back here, because I need to be able to get in front of these guys. And then there, would, I would get bottlenecked. Yes. So, if we go like this. I feel like there's going to be a lot of dead. Warriors. Um, Which should be. Alright. Uh, these little fellows. Man, I wouldn't even move them, dude. Oh, I'm gonna move them. Oh, so you lose the rapid fire, the extra shots if you move them. Yes, but if I move like this, yeah. and no matter where this goes. That's true. That's true. Fair enough. You're right. Yep. So, I should be. Don't forget this. Two, cool, three. Uh, oh, thank you. So we need to figure out what we're going to do with the scout bros here. Um, I have a 16 inch move, that's eight. I should be able to get basically an inch away from whatever I want. Yeah, let's see why um, you could. It's a knocked over warrior over there. He's having a nap. So we'll just go dirt to dirt to dirt. Dirt to dirt to dirt. And dirt to dirt to dirt. Like so. And then inch away. Dirt to dirt. Dirt to dirt to dirt. Oh, sorry, that's right. All right, so going into the second phase, yes. because I've been rolling bad, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, the daft dice, because it could be useful. Daft uh, dice, I like that. The daft dice. Uh, let's go ahead and try and cast a version on the... Mm, yeah, I mean, I'm thinking of those two, but they that's just going to knock them to a three, and you can give them back up to a two. And they're no, they, they start three normally. They'll knock them to a four, and I can put them back to a three. Yeah, and re-roll ones and twos. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, whatever. On the or the board. lich card, yeah. The lich card, too. Yeah, the we'll do it on the um, the destroyers. That's fine. Um, I think six will do it. Yeah. Uh, let me look. Six does it barely. You got it. You want to deny? You have two dudes, yeah? No, I have one guy, and I'd rather stop smite. That's scary. Okay. Yep. So smite coming in. Yeah. Nope. No smite. That's a five. That oh, is a smite. Goes off on a five. Yes. Uh, smite is a five. Do you want to command point reroll at one? You're at seven. That puts you to six. Uh, I mean, the question is, is who's closer? Uh, man, it looks like it might be the Lich Guard. All right, so we determined the Lich Guard was closer for Smite. Yep, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and blow the command point and try and uh, get a little bit of a higher roll since he can deny, and denying yes. a five is not bad. So we had a four, yep. here's the re-rolling, and we got a seven. Five. A little bit better. So I will attempt to deny needing an eight. I, I definitely don't deny with double ones. So All right. Um, D3 this time, at least. Here we go, D3 mortal wounds. We got five. So we will uh, blap that guy, and one of these guys will go down to one. Dead bush clear. There we go. Okay, so going into shooting. And they're reversed, so now they're hitting on fours. Uh, yes. Okay. All right, so shooting, we're going to go ahead and start with the Hellblaster, who should be in rapid fire range of the Lich Guard. Yes. Um, he's going to overcharge okay. and probably kill himself. Fair enough. Here we go. Um, Reroll on the fail. Doesn't kill himself. Winning on threes. Uh, so two AP minus four. Two five up involves. Oh, well, you'll kill uh, two Lich Guard. 
Cool. So. Okay. Um, because it wouldn't want to All right. Um, yep. All right. So this tactical squad's going to fire into the. Oof, 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 oof. Um, I mean, I would do bolters into them and plasma into the uh, Lich Guard. That's that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, that seems like the most viable option. I whittle down those warriors. That or I could bolter into these. True. That's true. Because I can just charge the maybe warriors. Maybe. Who knows? Um, okay, yeah, so this should be in rocket fire range. Maybe. Yeah, that guy's probably out. So, so it looks like five rapid, two non, those two in plasma. So. Uh, two plasma rapid fire into Lich Guard to there. Okay. Um, we will go ahead and overcharge those guys. Yep. yep. Um, so these two will be the uh, plasma in the front. Here we go. Fail. Two hits. And the other okay. two more. Here we go. This is the Sarge. Here we go. All right. Winning on threes. Okay. Three so minus three. Uh, it's AP minus three on these, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's still five up in one. Okay. So. I passed two of them, so one guy will die. Okay. That is unfortunate, but acceptable, I guess. All right, and then we've got bolters into the immortals over there. Mm -hmm. So two, four, six, eight, ten, plus the two who were not rapid fire. Here we go. Reroll. Yep. Okay, so we rolled a, a one. Yeah, so we got the, that was a cocked. Yes. All right, so we'll take that, and they're toughness four? Yes, so we got fours. All right, here we go. Let's get the fails out quick while Nathan's not looking. These are all fours. Um, we got, whoop, that was a four. Um, we got five. five. Sorry, I'll, I'll take that. That's five out of 11. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right, three up armor saves. Failed one. We'll just blap the guy in the back because I don't care. All right. Um, Azriel is going to um, fire into... It's gonna split fire. We're gonna fire the plasma into the warriors and overcharge, and the uh, mastercrafted bolter into the lich guard. Are you overcharging? No. Okay, make sure. He's not gonna kill himself. Um, so we'll get the two plasma into the warriors here, hitting mm -hmm. on threes now. We're rolling one. Two hits. Two hits. So we yeah, got two moves. Two five up in bones. Well, one dies. All right. And the mastercrafted bolter into the lich guard here. Mm -hmm. Roll one. one. All right, the hit. Five and on threes. Are they toughest five? They're toughest five. Is, is this not strength five, isn't it? It's Mastercraft. Not, that's That makes a damage too, doesn't it? You are correct. Okay. All right, so here we go. So fives. No. Nothing. All right, uh, worth a try. Um, let's go ahead and how many Lich Card are left? Three? Uh, no, one, two, three, four. Four Lich Card. Okay. Um, uh, five Lich Guard, because I can't see it. Uh, let's go ahead and overcharge the Plasma and the Tac... Not overcharge, use the Stratagem on the squad back there. Uh, let's see if I get my Command Point back. I don't. Uh, did you get it back from the Command Point reroll you did? Oh, I didn't. Let's try that. Okay, nope. All right, so we are down to five Command Points. And people in YouTube land, if I did roll that and I forgot I rolled it, then I rolled twice just so they didn't get it. And that's what happens when you cheat and can't cheat good. Um, I don't think you rolled twice, so we're good. All right, so their plasma is just not overcharged, but the stratagem overcharged, so yes. they won't kill themselves. Rapid fire into the Lich Guard, mm -hmm. bolters into the Warriors. Okay. Um, so you just want to do the four shots? Uh, yeah. So, so it's not and charged. because they don't overcharge, we'll put them together, yep. It's caught. All right, that is not worthy of the chapter's consideration for that poo-poo roll. Yeah. But two they wins. two wounds. Five ups. Two more will die. Okay. That gives me what? Five in rapid fire range to the warriors. Mm -hmm. So let's get some bolter shots into those bros. Woo! That was uh oh, dookie, dude. That was a lot of ones and twos. What happened there? Bad. One so wound? one wound. One uh four up save. We're good. Okay. Um That was the bolter guys, right? Yep, yeah. yep. Oh, the bikes. All right. Um, I really need those guys dead. Um, Who, the Lich Guard? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Um, they are a force to be reckoned with. 
when they get into melee. Otherwise, yeah, they just stand there pretty looking. Okay, so that one unit would be within six. I'm checking for the uh, shotgun. Yeah, which two would be one would be out for the plus one strength. Yeah, but you can shoot the shotgun there. Yeah, but the plus one strength, and, I don't know. I probably want to wait to fire into him. Um, and what are the war? Or the, well, I mean, uh, you'd be wounding him on a three. I mean, on a five mm -hmm. with the shotgun, and wounding him on a three with the shotgun. That's the difference. What's right the there? toughness on the four? Card? These are toughness five. Your and if the shotguns are within six, they're plus one, so they're st strength five, so fours. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying the one in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're talking about splitting them. Yeah. Instead of shooting here, I'm getting a t um, wounding on fives. You'd be wounding on threes there. Yeah, so it'd be one shotgun that's wounding on threes there from that one squad. Um, it would just help. I mean, just dice rolls. You're fine. Um, question is, what does the repulsor want to do? Because I could put a lot of shots into those. Yeah. Um, or try and clear out some stuff over there. Let's do this scout squad into. We're going to do some split fire stuff. So, six, six. All right. So, we'll do. Um, we're just going to be doing weight of fire here. Um, there'll be two shotguns in the Lich Guard, um, two bolters, or two twin link bolters, or twin bolters, whatever the heck they're called. No, three of those, rather. Um, and then two shotgun shells into a warrior? Yep. So. We'll do the two real quick. Yeah, so here. Two shotguns into warriors. Both hit, wounding on threes. I'll just grab one of those. Yep. Needing a four. He's good. All right. Uh, the two shotguns into the Lich Guard. For, uh, so it's two, because these were within half. Yeah, two wins. Mm -hmm. Three up armors. Pass them. Okay, so now we're going to have our bolters into them. Come on, bolters. Oh, boy. Cocked there. Okay, so out, out, out. All right, so fives to wound. It's not bad. We got three. It's not bad, all things considered. Mm-hmm. Three up saves. Failed one, takes a wound. Okay. Let's do. Three, two, four. I think that was a six. Let's check. Uh, no, so he's just down. Um, let's just do some weight of fire here. We're going to throw. Uh, we'll do these. These are all in the Lich Guard, but the shotgun that's within six. So here we go. So one hit. Needing a four. One wound. Failed. Kills the guy. Fine. So we'll just uh, blast that. Okay, and I'm going to roll the rest of these together because the profile with the shotguns are the same mm -hmm. with what's left. Just edit that footage. Oh, I don't care. Okay, here we go. So I got uh, 12 bolter shots and 4 shotgun shots. Yep. Okay. I just grabbed one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, so we got 4. It is enough to kill them. Three ups. You kill one more. I'll take it. I'm down to one remaining, and that is eight dead that turn. Okay. Guess what? I'm spending two command points on. <laughs> Where's the last guy? Right there. Hidden Where? behind the wall so he can't okay. be shot. All right. Um, Makes it really easy for you to shoot your uh, repulsor. It does. Um... Let's go ahead and... How many warriors are left? Oh, uh, 16. All right, so, yep, yeah, let's just throw everything into the warriors. The warriors here or the mortals? Uh, I feel like the warriors, because the mortals are just gonna push forward and shoot at me. Um, at least if I kill them, I get you off an objective. That's true, yes. Yeah, so and I might maybe kill those, but unlikely, so. Okay. Um, let's do the storm bolters first. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So 12 dash. Reroll on the fails. Okay. Wounding on fours, right? Mm -hmm. fours. Come on. Right. So we got uh, five saves. Four ups. Fail, three of them. Three will die. All right. Um, Keep these separated so I can tell. 
I'm gonna go ahead and roll my uh, twin heavy bolter into them. Roll one. All right, and this will wound threes. on threes. Yep. So we got three AP minus one. Three more die. Whoop. Okay. So and um, we got three, six, twelve. Ooh, I got to check the range on this one. Big one's got range. It's 36. The other one's tw uh, yeah. So 24 is fine. Woo! Yep. All right. All right. So here's all of our uh, assault cannon shots. You're rolling ones and twos. Okay. And these will be wounding on three. So we've got uh, 10 saves at AP and minus one. All right. Five ups. So uh, I passed three of them, so seven will die. Seven. Okay. Um, so I've got one more guy left that might be able to do some shooting. Ooh. What gun did I give uh, Brother Nabil here? What you got? Just a bolt pistol. You're you're doing good, sir. You're doing good work. Probably out of range. That's not 12. All right. Sorry, Azzy. Um, I don't think these guys have any range. Well, they probably do to the, um, the destroyers here. For sure. Yeah, but not to... Oh, no. That guy won't have range. That's 24. So that guy's over that dude? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so I'll have two. Um, how many uh, wounds? Or yeah, how many wounds do the warriors have? Or not warriors, the destroyers. Three. Yeah, so there's I'll just make shots where I got them. Okay. Here's the uh, the two into the warriors. Two hits. One wound. We failed. Okay. And the two into your destroyers, which are unlikely to do anything, but we're gonna make okay. it. Con. Two hits, one on five. If I add them together, no wounds. All right. All right, so... Um, charge phases? Yep, we're definitely going to have some charges. All right, so going into the charge phase or Dark Angels, i got a few things that probably need to happen. So I've cleared out a bunch here. He's probably going to do the Insane Heroism uh, Stratagem, whatever it's called for those warriors. Otherwise, they would all die. Yes, um, I lost uh, 16 dudes. So we're going to have to declare some charges. So uh, front squad is going to charge your warriors there. All right, the two warriors will have four shots. Hit no sixes. Nothing. Okay. We're going to roll here in the center of the table, see what happens. I think eight inches will probably. Oops, that was a three. That was a three, yes. Probably sir. do it. Um, Which squad was it? Oh, the front one. Okay. Oh, wait, just two hit separate ones. So, yeah, it'll be this one, the closer one. So, that'll be eight. So, what we want. Oh. Okay. So, we talked about this off camera. This guy should have been declared because you're going to heroically intervene just so I can swing back. Which I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, it's unlikely that I will even get to do anything to him. But just in case they somehow live. So that guy's going to get within an inch. Okay. Okay. And this is very important. Is that touching Azrael's base? This point right here? Uh, uh, from right there, yes. Okay, so it needs to have him barely there. Okay. And we got eight, so two of my dudes will be swinging. Um... Yeah, yeah. So, which is fine. That's the intent. Um, Same thing here. Uh, probably no reason not to do that. Um, I mean, because if I don't, you might just charge me. Um, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll do the same thing this time. I'll say it probably. We'll declare charges on um, the warriors and the uh, dude with the fine. scythe. He didn't have a ranged weapon, does he? No. Okay. Good. Otherwise, he would have been able to shoot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You good. I think 11 will do it. I mean, he still can shoot anyway. He technically have not touched him yet. But where do you want to go? All the way over here? Because um, if I get within three, you're just heroically in with him. So probably... Yes. About here? I don't have to base him, yeah? No, you don't have to. 
Because you know I'm coming, so it doesn't matter if you base them. Yeah. Um, so... Hmm. Why not? Yeah, but if I get within an inch of him, I could still swing on him with like two dudes. Does that put you in range of Azure? No, I, he'd have to be way over here. Oh, okay. Well, there's where Azrael's would be. Oh, there's where Azrael's would be? Let's put him back just a little bit then. Yeah, I mean, I probably could have if I had slid him over some. Is that not right there? Yeah, that looks pretty close. Okay. So that yeah. puts him within an inch here and within two inch cohesion. So now these four yep. guys will be able to reroll. Yep, and that's all I'll get with those. Yeah, oh, right, yeah. So if it's not, oops, that was eight. If it's not the intent is we were trying to get as close as possible to being within uh, uh, invuln save there just to try and maximize their life. Um, so we're going to go ahead and declare a charge with these guys on the uh, warriors, uh, warriors, the um, big dudes, whatever okay. they're called. I will overwatch them. Yep. Do you do. All right, 12 attacks, right? Yeah, I can see them. Cool. Three, six, 12 shots, hitting on sixes, re-rolling ones. All right, see so what you got. Oh, so. Looks like four hits already. And then a single one. Thank you, guys. Rerolling? No. So four hits total. Wounding on three zero rolling ones because of the Lord. So three AP minus threes. Uh, does that just kill them or do I get six? You would get six ups. So here we go, three sixes. I passed one. So two die. Uh, yeah, give me the, the two nearest to me, please. Whoop. All right, so let's see if we can get a charge distance in there. Uh, probably going to need like a seven, I think. So, I guess so. Maybe, I mean, six I mean, might do it. Three. Yes, yeah, probably seven. Okay, so here we go. The three will not do it. Nope. Um, I have not used a command point. This but you would need a five to get there. Phase. And time up doesn't do anything to them because they have fly. Yeah, I realized the tactical error there after I did it. <laughs> um, it makes sense. You could go in and kill one in melee. It's possible. Power yeah, sword and all. We'll, but we'll blow the command point I, just to try. Sure. It. Because at least if they get in, they're tied in. You have to move, and then I'm in a building with cover. That's true. Ooh, I had oh, a two. You got a two. Yeah, sir. Nope. Six won't do it. Okay. Yeah, because three would put you here. Well, I was thinking if I just went through the window, like this window right here, straight three, which would be under you, and three up, which should put you within an inch, I would think. Where's your guy at specifically? Right here. Right here? Yeah, so three, yeah. I, that's close, dude. I don't know. You, you tell me, man. Because it would put you... Yeah, and then three would be right around there, yeah? After you be within an inch? My worry is you might actually be overlapping. You might, you might not be able to go far enough three inches in, is what I'm trying to say. So, because I think it's direct. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know. It's up to you, man. Make, I'm not trying to I mean, they're you. your dudes. I, if you don't think they can make it, that's fine. It looks like he would be at least get the three, and it's the worrying about overlap that's the concern. Yeah, I th I'm pro almost positive he gets three here. I'm just worried that if you go straight up, your half your base will be on mine. That's the only big deal. Okay, so we'll just um, say, say no. It would have been interesting, but we'll just say no. Um, all right, so we've got some charges over with. here, and I need to check what my... Uh, oh, at the end of your charge phase, he will obviously corrupt into the end. Yes. Okay, so they all have um, one attack plus a combat knife, so they get an extra one. Um, and two then the sergeant has two, and he's got a... Um, I don't know why they would give him combat knife and chainsword to the stack. No. Okay. Wait, does combat knife say he gives an extra attack? It's worded the exact same way as a chainsword. Then yes, you would be able to use... Because you can fire with all your melee weapons. Okay, cool. So, so then I guess he gets Because uh, Berserkers can take two chain swords and get double attacks. Okay, so Sergeant will have four, and the other guys will have two each, but it would be... So I would have a little bit of a pile in, so it doesn't really matter. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Yeah, I think it's probably okay. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll do the squad nearest me. So um, we would have uh, six attacks? Uh, yes. So let's go ahead and do that. Two. Let's get the daft dice out of the way here. Three... So six, here we go. And these guys will be hitting on uh, threes. Here we go. So they all hit. All right. And these are in the warriors, obviously not into dude over there. Okay, makes sense. Trying to kill the two warriors? Yep. And wounded on threes, yeah? Yeah. Oh, four. Four, sorry. Um, we got three. three. That is enough. Three, four up saves, because no AP. He lose all the guys. All right. They are dead. Okay. Um, and then this bike squad. 
Uh, yes, which um, I think they're supposed to be one at a time. So the other one would have consolidated now, but it has to maintain coherency. So he should not have moved up. Sorry, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Though he would still be within an inch, but yeah, he's still yeah. he can still swing six okay. tacks into the. This would be on the big guy here. Here we go. He is toughness five though, so. All right, they hit. So five sixes to wound. Uh, I'll take two. two. That, two. That's statistical. Uh, the Lord has a three up save, so he takes one damage. I might have paid for one of the scout bikers with that damage because uh, they are dirt cheap. <laughs> is that all the damage you can do to him? Uh, that's it. It's cool. So. He will automatically uptick the four wounds against this thing. That actually makes my job a lot easier. Um, is that it for your turn, sir? Uh, that's it for the charges. All right, so he is going here. to swing back into that biker squad. He is getting three attacks, hitting on, I believe, threes. Uh, okay. Lord is hitting on threes, yes. Here. So three attacks, hitting on threes. Two hits, and these are wounding on threes. Strength five? Strength seven. Okay, so threes, yep. So wounding on threes, killing you on threes. So one dead guy. Eight Does he ignore Invul's hits? Oh no, sorry. So oh man, I could have made it. Yeah, sorry. Should have. Oh, well. He's good? Okay, never mind. Fine. I doubt it would have been worth it just to kill a scout biker, to be honest. Okay, so that is, we go to the morale phase. Um, I have a single Lich card. I lost eight. So if I roll a five or six, I would lose him and he would be out. Yeah, so you're going to do the morale phase. <sighs> but if I don't and I roll four or less, no, I lost eight. So I need to roll a two or less to survive. So I will spend the two command points, putting me down to one remaining to auto pass morale for him. Okay. So, start Necro on turn two. I have a couple before the uh, movement phase things that have to happen. First things first, Living Metal will take that wound off. Um, I did not lose any Immortals over here, I don't believe. Right? One, two, three, four. There's five, eight six, there. Nine guys there? Looks like nine. nine. I'm All right, count, so I'm I did. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, oh, there's a guy over here behind yeah. the wall I can't see. Okay. And uh, they are outside of six, so a single five up. No, don't bring a guy back. Um... We'll go over here. I have nine dice, needing fours because of Oric and the Diviner. And I get one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Did I roll too many dice, maybe? Six. Yeah, I rolled too many dice. I'm sorry. I thought I picked up nine. I think that's fine. So nine, needing fours. So uh, six guys, the same number. So yep. it worked out. And uh, they have to be within two inches and outside of one inch. So we'll just uh, put these six guys here. All right. Um, we will cast my will be done. Oh, wait, he has his other ability. So I'll roll D3 first for uh, Transient Madness. I got four, which is plus one ballistic skill. So we will give that, is it six inches? No! Terrible. Okay, well, we're going to give it to... Uh, I guess himself, because that's really, it's really sad. Okay, that's fine. And then he will give my will be done to the uh, Lich Guard. Yep. I won't spend this strategy. And that gives him plus one. To hit and charge rolls okay. and advance. Yeah. Um, and then we will go to the movement phase. All right. Obviously, we're going to move these rapid fire guns up in rapid fire range and hopefully uh, do what you did and secure this objective. Yeah, you're already on it. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Even with a good advance roll, I would have not probably got to it. Or if I did, it would have not been enough. The shots would have been are more important. Yep. I, I definitely agree. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, make sure everyone is within 12 inches of these dudes there. Pulsar is going to be interesting to deal with. So five inches, and we will just, uh, and then also staying within range. Oh, at the start of my turn, I do need to roll dice for Orkin. Mm -hmm. So on a one, he becomes empowered. He does not. Okay. I do at the beginning of every one of my turns. Okay. And then we will just move this guy up because there's no reason not to get in and fight with him while I have a chance. Um, I don't know what I want to do with my life here. Uh, make sure he's within six inches. Yeah, okay, cool. That's it for my move phase. We'll go to shooting phase then. All right, time to pew pew. Uh, I'll just do 10. So we're going to fire, rap fire 20 shots into uh, those broskies. Um, no, we will shoot three guys into that remaining Hellblaster, and then I'm going to shoot uh, the other six into your infantry squad. 
Which infantry is the, uh, the one that's right in front. Okay. Right here. From this gentleman yep. to your tax squad. So here's the six shots hitting on threes against the uh, low and plasma guy, the hell blaster. Mm -hmm. Hitting on threes, so it's four wounds. And then wounding on twos. Threes, I mean, sorry, it's threes. Uh, for two wounds. On the hell blaster? Yeah. Shoot. One wound each? Yeah. Any AP? Uh, minus two. Okay, so the M don't twos. Okay. Whoop, he good. And that leaves six guys. And these were into the tactical rows? Yeah, same. So 12 shots, and these are going to be in the tactical marines. For uh, four wins. All right, here we go. Invuln saves. We're going to do daft dice twice. Here we go. One dies. Huh, two dies. So that was statistical. Which one of you little bros wants to go? You two in the back. Nope, nope. How about you and you? Yeah. Oop, sorry, brother in the beetle. We will solo staff into your lone guy there. Three shots. All hit. Wounding on, uh, yeah, wounding on threes. For uh, three wounds, AP minus two. Ooh. All right, here we go. We'll grab this red and green one from Daff as well. Four of them he, he failed two. Okay. Cool. Are they one wound a piece or two? One damage piece, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Is it worth command point rerolling? It would make him live. Hmm. And you still have the uh, big guys up there to yeah. shoot. Um. Hmm. Yeah. What the heck? We're gonna try it. Might as well. Okay. And I got a command point back last turn, yeah. Uh, no, not this bad round. Okay. So, um, so you reroll here. I need a four plus. Ooh. What? I got two things I'm going to do. Hang on. First of all, try for a reroll. Failed it. We're going to use Azrael's once per game. Reroll okay. on the other dice. Fails it. <laughs> Let's see if I get the, the command point back. Failed it. Cool. Well. Okay. Fair enough. You tried. He did. We're going to shoot these guys into this biker squad that's out of combat. All right. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Now, is that with your minus one for me? Aversion. You're right, hitting on fours. Yeah, because you, you weren't in range to get the plus one to count or counter it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. So hitting on fours, we rolling one. Gotta remember, I've played many games with Bob where I forget. Forgot to. All right, so taking out all the threes, which mattered, and then a whole bunch of ones here. Cool. And then these are wounded on threes at strength six. Threes, re rolling ones because of the uh, Lord. So five ones, five four open ones. Here we go. Pass two. Pass two. Really? Pass the third. Really? Okay. okay, cool. That just makes up for all the rerolls I just made and failed. <laughs> so I know, right? Because I failed three or two on the dude. You failed, failed the four two. Yeah, it that's... failed the two rerolls and failed to get my command point back. All right, they didn't save them. That is all for my shooting phase. We're going to go to the charge phase now. What them Lich going after? You know that which is going. We will go ahead and declare a charge on which guard for Azrael and the biker squad that is not in combat, so you can overwatch. All right, let's get some overwatches going on here. Here we go with the biker squad. Let's just get the shotguns first. Here we go. Reroll the fails from Azzy. So we got two sixes, mm -hmm. and their toughness five. Yep, so four is the wound. No wounds. Okay. And we've got uh, so twelve four. Volt shots. Ooh, let's grab, let's grab some more dice here, folks. Let me know. Ah, I got it. We okay. good. We good. All right. So we got four, uh, eight, twelve. What? I'm gonna declare charge on the uh, the scout, the infantry squad too here. Okay. I need to. I have to. Otherwise, that's, that's fine. Yeah. So you'll make Overwatch. So I'll have a whole lot of Overwatch here. Okay. All right. So here are the twelve voltage sh shots from the Biker Bros. Oh, I've got a bunch of sixes there. It was a six. Beep. Beep. Reroll from Azzy. Okay. And then five to wound. We got two. All right. Two, three up armies. Passed them. Okay. Uh, so Azrael. Here we go. Um, he'll shoot both profiles because why not? Yes. Um, so Mastercrafted Bolter. Double ones, rerolls. Nope. Plasma? Nope. 
Nope. Okay. Um, tactical Marines. So yes. we've got. Uh, let's get the plasma out of the way. Overcharge them. Um, I feel like they might just die. But whatever. Let's try it. All right. Overcharge plasma number one. Reroll fails. Hit. He still dies. Number two. Reroll. He doesn't get anything. And Sergeant then, lives in. And uh, yeah. Regular guy dies. Uh, so the other guys are gonna have eight shots. Ooh, nope, there's one more lone guy back here. So hang on. Yep, so it'll be two more. Yeah, five guys, ten shots. Uh, we got two. Reroll from Azzy. Come back. Um, okay. It's like five? Uh, six. six. There's two in there. Whoop. Needing fives. Here we go. Uh, we got one. He fails. Takes I wounded wounds. someone, and my plasma bro is dead. Okay. All right, do they make their charge with a 12? All right, 12 because they get yeah, plus they get one. Plus. Mm -hmm. So we'll just, uh, um, we're gonna go ahead and declare a charge here. Okay. And we'll just go here. Well, I should probably roll yeah, that. Yeah, double ones might not do it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, sorry. sorry. You got it. You got it. So we'll just go here, um, and then he will charge into the bike squad. Uh, Which bikes? Both of them, because I'm in charge. Sorry, I am going to charge both of them, because there's no mm -hmm. reason not to. Um, we're going to charge them into the infantry squad. Okay. With a 10. Yep. Apologies. I feel like I shouldn't have to measure just to get these guys up front. Yeah, you're fine. Mostly, I just want to... Uh, That way you can't actually move it anywhere. Yep. That way. That way everybody but these three guys can fight. Yep. Alrighty, that is the end of my charge phase. You could hook intervene that uh, librarian in if you want. Mm, yeah, I mean, because you didn't declare him. I didn't, I forgot to, so. I don't beep, 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 So he'll be fighting some Lich Guard too. That's fine. Not that he's going to do a whole heck of a lot. Alright, so we're going to go to the fight phase. My Lich Guard will go first. Okay. Six on the bikers. Okay, so we'll do uh, eight Lich Guard into Azrael, or four Lich, Lich Guard into Azrael. Mm -hmm. and I'll do three Lich Guard into the bikers. I will spend my last command point to give them plus one strength. Because Azrael's toughness four, right? Yep. Yeah, so it's a wound on twos. So, here we go. All right, so eight attacks hitting on twos into Azrael. Yes, cool. I did leave within six inches of the board. Hitting on twos. For seven hits, and there's wounding on twos, re-rolling ones because of the Lord. Re-rolling ones. For uh, seven wounds on Azrael. AP and Lord. Four up in wounds. So. Okay, so here we go. Seven? Yes. Uh, fail two. Uh, fail one. So that's four die. I've taken three. Six damage. They're, They're two, two piece? piece? Yeah. Um, so he's going to have to command point reroll one of them. Um, so he is, uh, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna call it there. All right, guys. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately I've conceded on, uh, bottom of turn two. We were doing the math. Um, it was three, three going into, um, turn, I guess it was turn two. Yes. Uh, but he got Slay the Warlord. That's four. I lost all my invuln saves and rerolls when Azzy went down. Uh, and we were doing the math, um, losing the hell blasters and him replenishing 11 Lich Garks. I couldn't finish the unit. It creates such a huge disparity that it was going to be a hard hole to dig out of. A six he, point disparity. Yeah. yeah, and he's also got um, the little Forge World spider thing. Tomb Sentinel, yeah. Yeah, Tomb Sentinel that hasn't even hit the table, so he's he was down ten percent of his army and still doing well. Um, and we were trying to look over the the tactical applications of the table with the repulsor still being fresh. Um, maybe there's a few turns where his um, uh, destroyers could have shot it, and wounding on fives might have been tough because of his command points, but. Um, the point was with uh, what was going to happen on his turn three, it was going to be a um, five to six point game in his favor once we scored. Uh, once his um, sentinel thing came in, he was probably going to kill my scouts that were in the corner sitting on an yes. objective. Um, I was going to have to back out of combat with my tactical marines to be able to shoot anything and use two command points just to do it with probably what would have been maybe four guys left. 
Um, Brother Nabil the Librarian had no invulns, so as soon as the Lich Guard crashed into him, he's gonna die. I probably would have had maybe two Scout Bikers left if I was lucky, one from each squad. Next turn, they're going down. And it would have just came down to me running the Repulsor around trying to shoot what I could and hope I killed stuff, which I'm not gonna finish the Lich Guard, so they're gonna chase me. Maybe I kill the Immortals, but he could camp on objectives where I could not. Um, and if he was lucky, he might even be able to get in a position where he's hunkered down holding line breaker and just, you know, gets the points even higher. So um, that is what I would like to call a checkmate. And rather than just watching him roll dice and me remove the nine models I probably still had on the field, it was time to call it. So um, if uh, you guys liked any of the terrain or widgets or dials that you saw in the video today, please head on over to uh, deathraydesigns.com. Check that out. Additionally, all the terrain on the table is from Death Ray Designs as well. So if you guys want to stock up your table and have some cool looking terrain, like for you guys to check that out. Uh, it helps keep me employed and keeps the content flowing. Um, additionally, if you haven't already uh, and you're watching this on uh, YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ding the little bell so you get alerts when new battle reports and uh, videos go up. If you're watching on Facebook, uh, leave us a comment. You should leave us a comment on YouTube as well. Uh, let us know what we got wrong rules-wise or how we could improve. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And hopefully uh, next time I play against Nathan, I will try and make it past turn three. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys again for watching. And as always, happy wargaming. Mm -hmm.